Welcome back everyone, in this video we address a commonly asked question. Do you have to reinstall Windows when you get a new motherboard? Let's dive in and find it out. Well, that's not always the case, but let's talk about it. To understand whether a Windows installation is necessary, it is crucial to know the relationship between Windows and the motherboard. The motherboard serves as the backbone of your computer, connecting all the vital components, while Windows acts as the software interface that interacts with the hardware. When replacing your motherboard, several factors come into play. Compatibility is the key. The new motherboard should be compatible with your CPU, RAM, and other components. The chipset and the socket type must match as well. If these factors align, you might be able to avoid a Windows reinstallation. Let's explore different scenarios and their outcomes. Upgrading to a similar motherboard model with the same chipset often allows Windows to recognize the new hardware seamlessly. However, changing to a different chipset or significantly varying motherboard model may lead to compatibility issues requiring a fresh Windows installation. But fear not, there are ways to prepare your motherboard upgrade without reinstalling Windows. We discuss essential steps like backing up your data, uninstalling old drivers, and deactivating your Windows license. These precautions can potentially help you avoid a full reinstall and save you time and effort. The first thing you must do before changing your hardware is to back up your data, because it is always crucial to back up your data in case anything goes wrong. As previously mentioned, if your new motherboard brand is similar to your previous motherboard, then you are ok and you only need to connect your old SSD, NVMe or your hard drive that has your Windows and the boot drive on it to your new hardware and then turn it on and Windows will automatically detect everything and adjust it for you. Now I want to give you a hint based on my own personal experience and what I did in the past so you can follow it if you like. So let's say you are predicting that your Windows installation will work perfectly with your new hardware because your new hardware were similar brand as your previous one. Therefore you did not listen to my advice and didn't back up anything. And now you connected your old storage that has Windows installation and the boot drive to your new hardware and Windows will not detect it and nothing will come up. This means you have a compatibility issue and the best thing to do is to purchase a new SSD and do a clean installation on your new SSD and also connect your old storage to your PC. So now you have your clean installation of Windows and you also have all of your files there. Well this was the expensive way to do it but you can do it the cheap way by connecting your old hardware back in and then backing up your data and then reconnecting all of your new hardware. Additionally, if in some point you are trying to do a clean install of Windows, then you need to have your old Windows registration that you purchased. The way you can have your old Windows license is to connect your Microsoft account to your old Windows and once you do that, your Microsoft product key will be linked to your Microsoft account. So once you install a clean version of Windows and sign into your Microsoft account, Windows will automatically detain your license and your product key and your Windows will be activated. Additionally, my final hint to you is that even though it is easier to skip a Windows installation when you get a new motherboard, performing a clean Windows installation after a motherboard upgrade offers significant benefits. A clean installation ensures all drivers are up to date, eliminates potential conflicts, and maximize system stability. It's like giving your PC a fresh start. In conclusion, the necessity of reinstalling Windows when you get a new motherboard depends on various factors. While there are cases where you can avoid it, performing a clean installation often yields the best results. Remember to weigh the pros and cons based on your specific situation. That wraps up today's video, we hope you found this information helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more insightful tech content. Until next time, happy upgrading.